What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, I started this beat, I realized I didn't show y'all how to use one shots. So I'm gonna show y'all how to use one shots and reason and finish this beat. Let's get straight into it. All right, so right now I'm in Loop Cloud, and as many of you know, I use Loop Cloud to get my one shots and a lot of my drum sounds from nowadays, depending on the genre. If I don't exactly know how to make them myself, or you know, whatever the case, it's not a synth, it's like a live sampled instrument, whatever, I'll come to Loop Cloud and get that. So here in Loop Cloud, I found this kalimba sample that I wanna use, and a flute sample. They're actually all playing right now, which is cool. But this is the kalimba sound, and then I have a, a xylophone sound here and a flute sound here. So what I can do is just reset all of these to auto. There's patterns in here that you can use and kind of create patterns with them. So here I could uh like make a, a quick sample to see what it would sound like. So this is the kalimba that I'm going to use. with the exception of everything else playing at the same time. <laughs> Sorry about that. But here, all I did was come up to the little search box and you can also filter. So I could just go by percussion and find a kalimba and then close that. And then on over here, we have loops and we could select one shots also. So just about any sound you could think of is here in Loop Cloud. And you can use other things like splice. You know, whatever you prefer, but I myself, I use Loop Cloud. All right, so my first step here is going to be to grab this kalimba sound. Just going to hit copy here. Actually, I'm going to drag it into Reason, the original sound, because I want to add my own effects. Dropping it onto grain. So you're going to create a grain device first, and then you're going to drag it and drop it into grain. Now, this is what your samples will look like without you doing anything to them. And this is an initial patch. So if you didn't have an initial patch, you could have right clicked to reset the device first. So it would have been empty. Um, I already have mine reset, so we're good. I'm gonna pull the sample out, this bracket over here to the right so that we could view the whole sample and make sure I could see everything here. And this is what it sounds like. So I'm gonna set the key of it just to make sure that when I press any key on my keyboard, my MIDI keyboard, it matches the actual key it's supposed to be. So first step was that. The next thing I'm gonna do is come down here to motion and change this to one shot. Now for the algorithm, I put it to tape just because it's smoother for me, but sometimes it won't always make a difference depending on what you're doing. There is another extra window. It might be secretive for beginners. You might not know it exists is what I'm trying to say. So I almost forgot to include this part in the tutorial, SMH, but I'm gonna show you now. There is a window that a lot of beginners might not know about that will allow you to also edit these samples and you can pull it up by clicking on this pin tool right here. Then you get this window right here. And what it allows you to do is reverse samples, crop samples, normalize them, make them louder. There's different loop modes. Let's check it out. I can reverse the sample. You could use that as like a riser if you wanted to. And when you reverse samples, you of course want to crop them. So if I wanted to do this, I could bring this up so it starts smoother, hit crop. You know, you could do something cool like that. So I just wanted to make sure I included this portion in the tutorial. Let's get straight back to the regularly scheduled programming where I forgot to include this. The next important section I want to show you is going to be the amplifier here. This is going to allow you to shape the volume of your one shot over time. So for example, if I play it and drag the attack up, see, we got rid of the attack and it's coming in softer. I don't want to do that, but I'm just showing you what it does. Then we have the decay. 
sustain and release. If you get rid of these, you won't have a sound. So it shapes the volume over time, as I said. If you don't know what any of these do uh, and you still don't get it, the least you can do is just bring your attack all the way down unless you know you want to fade it in and you can bring the rest of them up and you'll be fine. You could also bring the release down and the sustain down if you don't want it to last that long. Everything else is just an extra step in understanding, which it'll take time to grasp. The next section is probably going to be the most fun section for you. That is this effects section down here. So what we can do is add some reverb to our sample, our one shot. Click on the little reverb tab. You can make it shorter. Turn up the amount. And we can add distortion. Phaser, we have an EQ, a delay, and compressor. So we can do all that in here. Now keep in mind, you can still drop some more effects in the insert affection in the insert section if that's what you prefer to do you are not limited to what's down here but if you want everything in a one stop shop place real fast workflow you can do everything in grain it has your effects it has the ADSR to control the volume and you can use other devices such as the NNXT or the NN19 you can even put it in Kong but as for everything being easy like this grain is going to be what you want to use let's add some delay ping pong delay bring up the amount so we can hear it I don't want distortion or phaser on this sample let's see bring up the time a little bit I'm liking that, so let's see what it sounds like in the context of the beat. Let's check it out. Dope. <laughs> All right, let's go, go ahead and drag in our flute sound to this second grain we have. Here we're in loop cloud. Let's grab the flute, which is this one right here. Just hold it and drop it into grain. Show the full length of the sample. Gonna put it on one shot so it's smooth. We'll set the key. A sharp, just like it says. Put it on take mode just because it's smoother. Bring the attack down so we'll get the true identity of the sample and I want to put the key mode here on legato so they'll roll into each other so it's smooth so it'll be something like this let me play it for you so each note cancels out the next note so we can't play more than one in this case and I'll put the portamento on so that it'll slide into the next note like this And we have time right here. So I'm going to use this flute as like a lead. So the portamento, this is going to control how long it takes to slide up to the next note you're playing. All right. Let's add some reverb to it. Nope. Put a little delay on it. Let's try a phaser. Sounds dope to me. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and program this in. I haven't played this in the beat, so let's just get something going. So 
I like that. It's real simple. It's just going to be like a transition, something that comes in when the beat drops or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to turn it down. All right. And it's that simple. So some of the next steps you could take, as I was saying before, would be inserts so if you would like to go on and add more effects you can the insert section is here and there's a whole wide world of effects that you could jump into using here built in reason and if you have tons of vsts like me then there's even more possibilities out there for you right let me know what you would like to see next it's off culture kick back and cook up. <laughs>